Hey guys, AJ here, back with another one for you. So guys, I have a long-running series about single moms crying about dating on TikTok. And guys, the only people that are more delusional than post-law middle-aged divorcees on TikTok are single moms on TikTok, right? Hey guys, you know what I always say here. Do not date single moms. Don't talk to them. Don't even smash. It's not even worth it, guys. Just leave them alone. There's plenty of of women out there who don't have kids don't even deal with these chicks guys don't even deal with deal with them so guys we're gonna jump in, into this but before we do guys please remember to like subscribe drop a comment it really helps keep this channel going guys uh i am trying to hit 3,000 subs by the end of the month so make sure you are subscribed hit the notification bell guys and check the community tab for the lives guys let's just jump into this and we can already tell off the jump this is a mess. Look at this little sun goofy tattoo she has on her arm. And she has that, that septum bull ring in her nose. <laughs> oh, this, Do you guys need any more red flags than that? Come on. Let's talk a dating as a single mom. I get this question all the time. Tips, advice, your experience. Are you seeing anyone? How's that going? And I would love to be able to give advice and tips on how that's going. Um, but it's not going. <laughs> of course it's not. And guys, look. Look at she's looking into the camera and she's driving at the same time. <laughs> Shouldn't she have your eyes on the road? Like what is going on? As a single mom, our standards about fucking triple prior to. I already had high standards and then I now you bring my daughter into the thing and like no one's good enough, right? Uh, <laughs> Think of that, guys. She said she had high standards before, and now she has her baby, and now her standards have tripled. Clown world. Did you have standards w when you let some 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 pookie or some Brad, you know, shoot up the club and get get you pregnant? Obviously, she didn't have high enough standards if she didn't you know find a, a good guy to actually have a kid with, and I mean marry and have a kid with. Now she's some dude's jump off who shot up the club and she's trying to say that her standards have tripled. Please. The delusion, guys. The delusion. On top of standards, time. As a single mom, we have little to no me time. So if I'm going to invest the small amount of me time I have into someone else and you fucking waste it, done. And on top of men not being shit, they don't fucking know how to communicate. My two-year-old toddler has the capability to tell me what she does or does not want, does or does not like, and how she's feeling. But some way, grown-ass men are not able to use their big boy words to communicate. Weird. More of the story is I am not your girl. If you want advice, um, I can tell you what not to do. I can tell you the men not to go for. But that's basically all I've learned over the last couple years. Um, so hopefully you have better luck than I do. And whose fault is that? Guys, listen to how she talks. Listen to her voice. Did you hear any type of introspection at all? It's all men. Nah, 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 nah. Right? And she's raising a baby that's going to probably, if it's a boy, it's going to be a, a future carjacker of America. And if it's a girl, it'll be the next OF chick. Clown world, guys. Clown world. Oh, and guys, hashtag single moms of TikTok. Hashtag dating after divorce. Hashtag single moms. Hashtag dating advice. Hashtag young moms of TikTok. <laughs> Oh man, send the asteroid, guys. So I have a date tonight, and I asked the guy what time he was thinking, and he said 9 p.m. 9 p.m.? Michael. I'm 31 years old. 9 p.m. So <sighs> guys, this is the thing, the thing about single moms, man. They gotta have all their kids in bed by 9 and be up by whenever, five o'clock in the morning or whatever. Look, guys, this is why you can't date them. Why would you not be date a woman who you can't go out and do stuff with, go out and travel with, go out and go out to the bar with or whatever? You know what I'm saying? And guys, hashtag dating, hashtag single mom, hashtag 30 something, hashtag relatable, <laughs> hashtag moms of TikTok, hashtag single mom life. Yeah, yeah, good luck with that lady. So I'm a single mom of two and I kind of wanted to share why I don't and will not date anymore. So a little backstory about me. I have two boys. I was married to my second son's father for a little bit and I had my first son in high school with my high school sweetheart. 
So she was a single mom when she got married. She found a guy that was willing to take her on and marry her as a single mom. And I guarantee you that she divorced him because she wasn't happy, quote unquote. And now what do you got? Now she's here crying about crying about dating and life on TikTok. And guys, yeah, here we go. Hashtag single mom. Hashtag dating as a single mom. Hashtag single mom life. Hashtag boy mom. Hashtag broke off engagement. Hashtag called off wedding. Hashtag never settle. <laughs> Fuck you guys. I swear I'm not making. I swear to God, guys, I'm not making this up. Look at this. Hashtag single moms of TikTok. Hashtag moms of TikTok. Oh, gosh, you guys. Oh, man. I was also engaged for a little bit recently, and I called that off. Of course you did. But that story's for another video. <laughs> so, pretty much since I called off my engagement, I've been doing a lot of, like, internal soul searching about oh, here we go guys internal soul searching and healing and all this other foolishness that they talk talk about guys don't ever buy any of this crap this healing and all this other crap it's all all bs guys right so that's all it is like dating and just relationships and like what i want out of that I highly recommend you do that and journal because that's helped me like kind of figure out where I'm at in this moment today. So basically I have decided to not date, not look, not try, not think about it, not put any energy into relationships or dating. So she's actually doing, doing all, all of us in society as a favor, right? She's doing us a favor guys because no man, no self-respecting man should have to deal with this foolishness. Good. <laughs> She's acting like, oh, like as if the whole world is suffering because she has decided not to date. Come on. I like 100% want to focus all of myself on my kids and my career. Don't know where my career is going yet, but again, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to focus all, all, all of me on myself and my career. I don't know where my career is going. <laughs> Oh man, oh man, guys, how are you gonna focus effort on a career you don't even know where it's going? And guys, to be honest, most most women don't even have careers, they have jobs, right? Just a regular, plain old, everyday job. So, the reason that I've decided this is just a few things. A, dating as a single mom is so risky. Like, from this past experience of breaking off my engagement and all of that, like, unfortunately, I hurt my kids. And that has been really hard for me to process in putting them through that as well. And it's just too risky, risky for me and not something that I ever want to be put through or put them through again. Now, mind you, my kids have not met a lot of people. This was the first guy that my youngest son met and the second guy that my oldest met being my young, my, the other one being my youngest son's father. So anyway, um, it's just too risky. Another reason is, like I said, I just like want to be 100% focused on my kids and my career. Not saying that if you're dating and you have kids and you have a career that you can't be 100% in a relationship. But for me, I just don't want to even have to bother, to be honest. Like, I am all in on my kids. I'm all in on my career. And Think about how delusional that this is, right? Because she's acting like she's choosing to not be to not meet a guy that she would love to marry and be with that's not up to her men control relationships we control marriage so this would be like me saying oh well <laughs> i'm just choosing to like not be with rihanna <laughs> i'm just choosing to like not be with one of the hottest chicks in the world i'm taking time to myself right and choosing to just not be with like you know, uh, uh, yeah, Rihanna or Beyonce or Scarlett Joe or Hanson or whatever. That's how delusional these chicks sound. Where I want to go and what I want to build for us, that dating is just nowhere near my radar. And I've thought about it since calling off my wedding and ending my engagement, like getting back out there, just kind of like seeing what's out. 
and I'm just truly deep down like not interested men have hurt me so much and this is not like a fuck men video it's really not ah uh, of course it's not sure it isn't right how many how many how many of you guys actually believe that but I truly have zero trust zero in the male species and that's also another reason like my ex-fiance was like the nicest guy ever and it still didn't work out so so wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute guys she has zero trust in men but her ex was the nicest guy ever and it still didn't work out guys please someone in the comments make that make sense so are men of the problem or are you oh maybe it's me i don't know it's me i'm the problem i don't know of course you are but I'm there you go of course you are really truly at a point in my life where i don't want to date i will not date and that might change in a couple years it might change in a couple months i don't know but as of right now i'm really really happy with my decision and I i'm sure you are and that's why you're on tiktok right guys clown world all right you guys like subscribe drop a comment i'm out of here if you see chicks like like this guy's run for the hills